current and former staffers at the White House have a story to tell. Biden's team is trying to downplay claims of turmoil in a toxic work environment. As Politico reports, the president's advanced travel team has been under investigation for months now, all over claims of some very bad and illegal behavior. First Lady Jill Biden's top aide is facing bullying and verbal sexual harassment allegations. Flashback to the president's very first day in office when he made a promise to protect those around him. I'm not joking when I say this. If you're ever working with me and I hear you treat another colleague with disrespect, talk down to someone, I promise you I will fire you on the spot. On the spot. No ifs, ands, or buts. Peter Ducey is live at the White House. So the big question, how allegedly is this happening on his watch? Uh, Harris, the two staffers responsible for more logistics during the president's last campaign and also during his first three years here are now gone. And that poses a potentially huge problem for the reelection effort because according to the White House's own description of the Office of Scheduling and Advance, they say... Ensuring a successful presidential meeting or event requires close coordination across White House offices and across entities, outside entities. That effort moving forward is now going to be led by less experienced staffers following a months-long White House counsel's investigation into accusations of verbal harassment by the now former associate director of advance and following complaints by the press about the now former director of advance. So the president is deeply proud of his advance team. Uh, so he's grateful to everyone who has served and is serving on, a, on an unmatched team uh, that represents the diversity of the country as they have fought every day to help him bring his message uh, to the American people and to the entire world. The former associate director of advance who resigned last week told Fox Digital in a statement the following uh, that is simply not true about these accusations. I love all of my colleagues. They are committed, skilled, and brilliant public service uh, servants to anyone who felt otherwise at any time. I'm sorry, and I want them to know that. It's been the honor of a lifetime working with this team, and I'm so proud of everything we've done together after over three amazing years in the White House. I wanted to start a new chapter. It is very close to the upcoming presidential election, though, to be trying to get a new team up to speed, staging important events in battleground states across the country. But that is what this president and his staff now have to deal with. Harris. Peter Ducey, thank you very much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.